we're at a craft and bloom because there's a lot more crafts than there is art. So craft that's and why bloom. they made okay. it craft and bloom. Okay, can you take us around this wonderful exhibit so we yes, can show Yes, it's the called Striking Gold because Fuller is 50 and the Project Garden Club is 90. So we decided to combine our anniversaries and make one event. And Perfect. they call it the Striking Gold. There are two next. This arrangement is actually depicting the two gold statues. Okay. And that was done by a Brockton Garden Club person, Peg Kearney. Okay. Very nice. Take a second shot of that. Beautiful. Done by a Brockton Garden Club person, Joe Rakowskis. And it's done with that painting in the background. So how does it uh, happen when they get paired up? Who, who makes those decisions and how does that all work? They, some of the people got to look at the artwork and determine our craft and determine if they wanted to do it. Some of them were put in a bucket, pulled and given the item to work with. So Oops. the flowers are their own choices mm -hmm. and the containers on how it resonates with them. From Weymouth Country Club, these two women um, chose we got this tapestry and they chose to use this arrangement to interpret it. Pretty neat. Yeah, it's kind of free-forming. Everybody kind of wants to touch it because it looks so soft. But you can't touch it, so we don't know if it's soft or not. No, you can experience the art, but yeah. no touch. Don't touch. Got it. Okay. Um, these two women are from Hanover, the Hanover Country Club. Um, yeah, right, Garden Club, sorry. Yes. And the wall hanging is what they had to work with. However, they did the research on it, and the wall hanging was actually done for the uh, reposa for our mothers on Bergen de um, Guadalupe. So they had looked it up and found the picture. So basically, they did the arrangement based on the picture, hence what you see, rather determines from the picture rather than depicts from the wall hanging. Nice. So I got a copy of the picture so you could see what the whole thing com comes up with now. Okay. Um, the next one is a fisherman's shrine. And in the, in the older days they used to put their shrines where they would pray for the fishermen to come back and hopefully have a good catch and even just return. Because sometimes, as you know, sea got rot when they didn't return. So this is something that they would go in and pray while they were gone. And it's determined from the calla lilies and the eucalyptus and the different textures to make it the different textures in the wood. It's beautiful. This gentleman thinks the world of his dog, so he has a gold-plated bowl that is actually punched out and etched out to use for his dog dish. And we just decorated that bowl to kind of coordinate the flowers and the simplicity of it. And his dog is right here, right? Right there, that's right. So the funny thing was, if he got a dog bowl made out of gold, what is the people's plates made out of? This woman is um, from the Canton Party Club, and she chose this wall hanging. And you can see from the colors of the tapestry, she just hit it in the nail. Now, during the exhibit, is there any kind of judging or is there any We do have a few people that are coming from Hyannis that are mm -hmm. MFA judges. Okay. And they will be looking at them, but as far as any real um, prize or anything like that, no. And this is kind of a way for them to even prepare because the MFAs is coming up in April, I believe. Okay. So um, this will give them some practice without being really scrutinized. Practice makes perfect. That's right. Okay. This is um, Christopher Columbus in Central Park, actually. This is an actual statue there. And this person decided to drape him all in blink. And he was doing his This woman designer is from Hyannis. So it's the Hyannis, and actually she's a member of the Brockton Garden Club, um, so she's from both. This is 
Um, Lisa, she's actually the Easton um, Garden Club's president, and she got the brick wall. This is from the Sharon um, Garden Club. This is the artwork, and that's the floral arrangement. Look at how close it is. The rocks on the bottom pick up the colors and the bottom rock. So it's right on with the interpretation. That's intricate. Yeah. yeah. So this is the golden beetles. Mm -hmm. um, this is cicadas. This is an orchid. And this is a leaf. Each person determined their own interpretation of what they were seeing. So in this one here, the leaf is picked up in the smoothness of the leaves and the calla lilies. And in the orchid, she saw more of a ballerina. So she arranged her flowers to look more like a ballerina than the orchid itself, but yet kept the orchid in her mind. The beetles are represented. The flower in the middle is the actual gem and the beetles are the leaves. And the cicadas in this one is the middles here, and the wings are the flowers. Um, this lady is also from Hyannis, and she interpreted this stool to be more of an Egyptian look, and that's why she did the arrangement that way. When I first saw the picture, it was on a bed of feathers. So I used the thistle, um, sea holly, to depict the background of the feathers. However, when we got here, it was on plain black. So it's actually this priceless, which is price tags dipped in gold. Oh, cool. This woman um, actually got this repair number two. And Japanese um, repurpose, re, you know, reuse. They use gold to put their broken pieces together, hence the gold um, places. And um, the theory, again, being honoring something that was valuable to them and keeping it and using it. And so they used this um, combination. But um, we also had somebody who was assigned this plate who couldn't make it. So we're combining the two of them together into the one, little, one arrangement. She's also from the Hyannis Garden Club. So we have three from Hyannis and then Wollaston, Sharon, Quincy. So you can get involved by going to our website under brocktongc.org. There is an application on file under application. Okay, and you just celebrated the 90th anniversary of the club. We did have our 90th president and guest club, uh, night and we are continuing doing different things around the town to help celebrate it for the whole year.